There we go. Hello. Hey everyone. Oh my gosh, look at my afro. Okay. I'll wait a few minutes and then um, we'll, uh, I'll wait till there's a few more of you on and then we'll start the coconut bread. Okay, the great thing about, um, about this coconut bread recipe is that um, it's quick and um, you don't need eggs, you don't need butter, um, or just to butter the bread with, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy. You can use any flour, you can use um, plain flour um, or high grade flour. I use high grade flour um, because for me that's my preference. I do a lot of my baking um, using the high grade flour. Um, you'll find that a lot of my bread rolls that I use, um, I use the, um, the high grade flour. Okay, so all we need is flour. And where's my sugar? Flour, sugar, yeast. This is the one that I use. You get um, 12 sachets in this box. Um, I know there's a shortage of, um, of yeast. Um, they, they've got other types as well, but I prefer this one. Um, I've tried uh, making bread with the other one I'll show you. This one here, um, it's okay, it's okay, you just got to leave it um, a little longer to, um, you know, for the yeast to rise, but otherwise this one here is the, the best one to use. So, flour, sugar, yeast, coconut, and milk. milk. You can actually, if you don't have coconut, you can actually just do it without the coconut and just do it as a sweet bread. It still tastes really good. Um, I prefer the bread without the, the coconut. Um, but yeah, that's all you need. Flour, milk, yeast, um, sugar, and coconut. Okay, let's start. So turn your oven on, um, one, 175 to 180 degrees. Um, my fan bait died a couple of months ago, so got this old one, but hey, it does the trick. So um, yeah, so 175 to 180 degrees. Then you get your baking tray. Sorry, not your baking tray. Get your bowl there. So what you do is Put uh, four cups or four and a half cups of milk um, on the stove, or you can put it in the microwave if it's easier. I prefer it on the stove. Turn that on, and while that's heating up, you start, you start with your dry ingredients. So we need four of these. Now the batch that I make um, is enough to feed a lot of people. Um, so if it's just yourself or you know a couple of people, um, just half that um, half the ingredients. Um, so I use four of these. Now we're putting the sugar. Um, it's one and a half cups, one and a half to two cups, depending on how sweet you want the bread. So we'll go. One and three quarter cups in there. And um, with this recipe, it is um, it is warm warm water. Um, you don't have to boil the kettle for it to be, um, you know, to get it to temperature. You can actually just run the tap. Um, so that's what I do. Run the tap until it's nice and warm. So I put... Um, Five, five cups of warm water. Like I said, I'm making a big batch. So I've got two there. Okay, just mix that up. Um, 
you take it off the heat when it's when it's um, hot to touch okay don't um, take it off when it's when it's like boiling hot and it's like too too hot to touch so just just when it's just slightly um, when there's just a little bit of heat through that then take it off the stove okay your yeast and now you can so it's um it's two two cups of coconut now the flour um, it's about 10 to 12 cups of flour it is a lot of flour um, but like I said, you're making a massive um, batch. So if there's only a couple of you, just um, yeah, just half the ingredients. I mean, this um, recipe still works um, with plain flour if you've got plain flour. But like I said, I prefer the high grade. The reason why I wanted to do this um, live is, you know, a lot of times people ask for recipes, you give them the recipe and, um, you know, they always come back and say, oh, it didn't taste like your one. And, you know, and I don't want them to think that I was missing an ingredient, um, you know, just to try and sabotage their, their, um, their bread. So this is the reason why I wanted to do this live so that you can all see how we do it and see how easy it is and um, yeah and just make some for your family you can see that I don't use a measuring cup I don't need to I've been doing this for so long I just I'll probably do it with my eyes closed so the consistency of the batter should be um, it should be runny. It actually should be runny, not um, not dry. No, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be like a um, like a cake mix. Um, it should be, you know, just slightly runny. Okay, I don't know. that's what mine looks like. Runny. So, um, so you don't, there's no kneading required um, with this recipe as well. Um, so that's pretty much it with the mixing. So all we're going to do now is just to pour it into our baking tins. Um, I use the roasting pans, you know, just the normal roasting pans that every islander has. Um, yeah, I just use um, the roasting pans. I just make... Um, probably you can do one and a half batches um, with this mix. If you wanted to use the uh, the bread 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 tins, um, you can do that as well. Um, the only thing with that is it, it takes uh, you know a lot longer. You've just got to put put what three loaves at a time, three tin loaves at a time. But um, yeah, like I said, I prefer this one. Okay. So you've got to line your paper, I mean your tin, with uh, baking paper. So there's baking paper and there's also grease, grease proof paper. Don't use the grease proof paper, um, your batter will stick, okay? So um, just buy the non-stick baking paper. Okay, and you just pour it in there. And like I said, you can get um, one and a half, you can get one and a half um, pan full, you know, of the um, batter. How easy is that? Now, all we need to do now is um, just leave it to rise, um, probably twenty minutes. So I've just put it at the top of the, um, the element there 
for it to do its thing. I know a lot of you um, essential workers out there don't have 20 minutes. So I did make one earlier. So let me just grab um, the other uh, bread. Voila. This is the one that I made um, probably about an hour and a half ago. Or maybe an hour ago. That's what it looks like. See, it's still it's still warm, so I don't want to cut it. But um, just give me a, what I do is I cut them in fours along here, like one, two, three, four, and then I slice them that way and that way. Um, there's plenty for everyone so like I said um, I only make this batch and it lasts us for ages I keep it in the container um, we don't really eat the coconut bread my in-laws do but um, yeah we don't really eat it so a lot of my baking we just give away um, but yeah um, that's it it's pretty easy and you know just you gotta have it with real butter though. You can't you can't have it with margarine. It has to be you gotta have um, nice fresh bread with the real the real thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the coconut bread. And like I said, you can you can do it. You can do this bread with or without coconut. Um, you know, I, I prefer to do it without the coconut, but, you know, it's up to you. Um, but, yeah, it's, this is um, a recipe that I like to always um, make when we get the uh, last-minute visitors that come over. So, um, yeah, it's all good. So, this week, um, I'll try and do some other baking for you. Um some people have asked for cinnamon bread, I mean cinnamon rolls, uh, donuts, what was the other thing? Bunny popo. Okay, so yeah, look out for those, um, for those lives. Um, but otherwise, stay safe. Peace out. Hey guys, so just wanted to show you the um, end result um, once the, the bread cooled down. Okay, so okay, so as you can see, it makes um, from that from that um, batch it makes a lot. Um, I still have this slot here to cut up. I'll show you. See, and that was just one um, that was just the one loaf um, now someone said that if you're actually looking for the um, the dry yeast you can actually get it at a lot of the dairies um, so just check out the dairies um, I know there's one on Mackenzie Road if you live out south um, they they stock up on a lot of these um, I had a, 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 an awesome friend who dropped off four boxes to me. Uh, shout out to Moana. Uh, thank you for dropping off the, um, the, the yeast. But yeah, if you can't find any, let me know and I can give you one of my boxes. Okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, the bread looks pretty awesome. And look how soft it is too. Really soft. Okay? Alright. See you guys.